Hello, Uya folks. This is Tim Grotman. I wanted to show you that you can connect your debugger to your Android device. So, first thing that you want to do is go into your build settings and make sure that you've checked development build and script debugging. You can also auto connect your profiler, which is probably a pro feature. And then you want to build and run that. So while that's doing that, uh, when this finishes, we will uh, launch Mono Develop. Okay, it's pushing it to the device. Here it goes. Okay. Uh, one important thing is your Mono Develop version and your Unity version need to match. So I, I've installed Unity 4, which probably replaced my Mono Develop, and so it's not matching up. So uh, I usually will have a bunch of uh, Unity versions side by side installed, and I just have to make sure I launch the right Mono Develop with the right Unity. But we can still debug. So now that it's launched, I'm going to sync with the Mono Develop project. And if I switch over to Mono Develop, you've got your project here, and then you just go run, attach to process. If you don't see your Android device here, just click here in the white space and it should refresh. Uh, and then you'll see these PIDs, and these are the process IDs that you see in the panel. So if I go over back to Unity, you've seen this thing at the top. This you had, it shows the machine name and then this uh, PID. So sometimes if you have a lot of Unity instances running or if you're running on the tablet, it's one way to tell the difference between your stuff so that you attach to the right Unity editor PID so that the number will be the same here. In this case though, I know that this is my Android device. So it shows up in your list, you just attach to it, or double click it, there you go. Okay, so now I'm attached. So I can do so, some debugging like, I need to look at my Unity scene. Okay. Okay, so in my Unity scene here, I had built the main scene. Okay. Alright, so this guy has some scripts attached. Okay, it has an input handler script. Great. Okay, so I can search for that. Go to File, Input Handler. And if I set a breakpoint on the update event, I hit the breakpoint. Alright, so that was awesome. Uh, had the debugger attached, and then I hit F10 to go to the next line, and that made Camtasia try to delete my recording. So I have to avoid the keyboard shortcuts until I turn that off. Anyways, what you see here is now that we're connected, you can debug like you normally do in Mono Develop, except for you're attached to the Unity running on your Android device. So it does all the usual things, and you can step over lines and move around and use the inspector and figure out all the things you need to do that you usually do in a debugger. It's pretty cool. Alright, well, thanks for watching.